What is metam? 3 for methogenically methamphetamine. A metama is a synthetic drug that alters mood and perception awareness of surrounding objects and conditions. Uh, it is chemically similar to both stimulants and hallucinous, producing feelings of increased energy, pleasure, emotional warmth, and distorted sensory and time perception. Metam was initially popular in the nightclub scene and at all night dance parties or raves of, but the drug now affects a broader range of people who more commonly call the drug ecstasy or molly. How do people use metam? People who use metam usually take it as a capsule or tablet, though some swallow it in liquid form or snort the powder. The popular nickname molly is slang for molecular often refers to the supposedly pure crystalline powder form of metam, usually sold in capsules. However, people who purchase powder or capsules sold as molly often actually get other drugs such as synthetic cathinones of bath salsa instead of see added risk of metama. Some people take metam in combination with other drugs such as alcohol or marijuana. How does metam affect the brain? Metam increases the activity of three brain chemicals. Dopamine produces increased energy activity and acts in the reward system to reinforce behaviors. Norepinephrine increases heart rate and blood pressure, which are particularly risky for people with heart and blood vessel problems. Serotonin affects mood, appetite, sleep, and other functions. It also triggers hormones that affect sexual arousal and trust. The release of large amounts of serotonin likely causes the emotional closeness, elevated mood, and empathy felt by those who use metam. Other health effects include nausea, muscle cramping, involuntary teeth clenching, blurred vision, chills, sweating. Metam's effects last about three to six hours, although many users take a second dose as the effects of the first dose begin to fade. Over the course of the week following moderate use of the drug, a person may experience irritability, impulsiveness and aggression, depression, sleep problems, anxiety, memory and attention problems, decreased appetite, decreased interest in and pleasure from sex. It's possible that some of these effects may be due to the combined use of metam with other drugs, especially marijuana. What are their health effects of metam? High doses of metam can affect the body's ability to regulate temperature. This can lead to a spike in body temperature that can occasionally result in liver, kidney, or heart failure or even death. In addition, because metam can promote trust and closeness, its use especially combined with Sildenway way of Yagra or Arme encouraging safe sexual behavior, this increases people's risk of contracting or transmitting HIV AIDS or hepatitis. Read more about drug use and HIV AIDS and drug gaps HIV AIDS and drug abuse. Added risk of metam. Adding to metam's risks is that pills, capsules, or powders sold as ecstasy and supposedly pure molly may contain other drugs instead of or in addition to metam. Much of the molly seized by the police contains additives such as cocaine, ketamine, methamphetamine, over-the-counter cough medicine, or synthetic cathinones of bath salts. These substances may be extremely dangerous if the person does not know what he or she is taking. They may also be dangerous when combined with metam. People who purposely or unknowingly combine such a mixture with other substances, such as marijuana and alcohol, may be putting themselves at ease. Is metam addictive? Research results vary on whether metam is addictive. Experiments have shown that animals will self-administer metam an important indicator of a drug's abuse potential, although to a lesser degree than some other drugs such as cocaine. Some people report signs of addiction, including the following withdrawal symptoms. Fatigue, loss of appetite, depression, trouble concentrating. Does metam have value in therapy? Metam was first used in the 1970s as an in psychotherapy, a mental disorder treatment using talk therapy. The drug did not have the support of clinical trials as studies using humans or approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA. In 1985, the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration EO labeled metam as an illegal drug with no recognized medicinal use. However, some researchers remain interested in its value in psychotherapy when given to patients under carefully controlled conditions. Metam is currently in clinical trials as a possible treatment aid for post-traumatic stress.
How can people get treatment for addiction to metam? There are no specific medical treatments for metam addiction. Some people seeking treatment for metam addiction have found behavioral therapy to be helpful. Scientists need more research to determine how effective this treatment option is for addiction to metam. Points to remember. 30 for methylgenically methamphetamine or metam is a synthetic drug that alters mood and perception. It is chemically similar to stimulants and hallucinous. Metam is commonly called ecstasy or molly. People who use metam typically take it as a capsule or tablet. Many people take it in combination with other drugs. Metam acts by increasing the activity of three brain chemicals of dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. Effects include increased energy, distorted perception, and voluntary teeth clenching, dangerously high body temperature, and depression. Many people are unaware that ecstasy and supposedly pure molly also often contain not only pure metam but other drugs that may be particularly dangerous when mixed with metam. Research results vary on whether metam is addictive. Some people report signs of addiction. Some people seeking treatment for metam addiction have found behavioral therapy to be helpful. There are no specific medical treatments for metam addiction. from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA for use in humans. Some psychiatrists believe that it enhanced communication in patient sessions and allowed patients to achieve insights about their problems. 35. It was also during this time that Metam started becoming more widely available on the street. 536. In 1985, the D declared an emergency ban on Metam, placing it on the list of Schedule I drugs defined as substances with no currently accepted medical use and a high potential for abuse. Metam has remained a Schedule I substance since then, with the exception of a brief period of time between 1987 and 1988. How many people use metam ecstasy? Among people aged 12 or older in 2021, 0.8 were about to point a million people are reported using metam ecstasy in the past 12 months of 2021. DD 1.10. Source of 2021 National Survey on Drug Use and Health. How many young people use metam? In 2022, an estimated 0.6 of 8th graders, 0.7 of 10th graders, and 1.4 of 12th graders reported using Metam in the past 12 months. Source of 2020 to monitor in the future survey. The COVID-19 pandemic had an impact on data collection for the 2021 National Survey on Drug Use and Health of Sundor. For more information, please see the 2021 Sundor Frequently Asked Questions from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Metam first gained popularity among adolescents and young adults in the nightclub scene and at dance parties known as Raves 3. However, the profile of the typical person who uses Metam has been changing. Beginning in 1999, Community-level data from Mita's Community Epidemiology Work Group began to report that use of Metam had spread among populations outside the nightclub scene 49. Image. Media name of past from 2015 GIF. Metam is predominantly used by males between the ages of 18 and 25 point per thousand. 350 most use typically begins at 21 years of age 51. Needle-funded research shows that sexual orientation also influences Metam usage rates. For example, gay or bisexual men and women are more likely than their heterosexual counterparts to have used metam within the last 30 days and to report harm associated with metam use 52.